Messi. Lionel Messi. So, I drew Cristiano, so we have to draw Messi. And the World Cup is on at the minute. And I got Argentina in the family draw. So we all drew teams and I got Argentina. So come on, Messi. <laughs> That's big money up for grabs. <laughs> so let's go. Landscape page. Use a pencil eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast, right? So portrait of him. We're going to go for the likeness. So semi-realistic, small eyes. Let's go. Line art. Center point here. Come up over to the right-hand side. We're going to start with his eyes, right? And he's quite small eyes. So we'll just go up. Over the top, down the back, right? And you might be able to like thicken this line up a little bit. He's different to Cristiano, so he's got like, it's kind of just, his eyelashes don't stick up as much. So it's kind of just dark kind of down here. And it's not, not like a super thick line or anything. So bottom eyelid then, all I'm gonna do, right, is I'm gonna come across halfway like not the whole line i'm just going to stop there and then i'm going to do the same over this side right okay and then just for his, his iris right so we're just going to do a bracket a curved line sort of here and then here Okay, and you can have his tear duct inside there, right? So, the bottom of his eye, I might draw it in, right? So, just because his eyes are so squinty small, I might actually. So, I'm just going to bring this across a little bit more. Well, I was thinking about not doing that, but... I think it needs it. Okay. All right, kind of like so. And then we'll get his pupil in the middle of his eye here. Okay, eyelid line on top, so it goes up, and then down. Could have some eyelash, like some just light sort of eyelashes on the bottom of his eyelid here, just coming around here, and then some sort of bags just underneath his eye, like just some Light sort of wrinkles or something just here. Okay. So eyebrow just above, and he's kind of frowning in this. So we'll go. How big do we want to go? So we'll go maybe like a frowning sort of line here. And then the eyebrow kind of just goes diagonally across. Pretty close to his like eyelid line here. And kind of just down the back. And then we'll bring it back up. Back up and over. And down towards the front. Okay, so we'll go over and do his other eye now. So eye width comes across. You can fit an eye in between. That's where the next eye will start. And then curve it up. Cross again. Down the back. And again, this is kind of like eyelashes here.
right so then tear duct again so we'll go we'll go the whole way across so we go up it's kind of squinting right so very thin eyes down across to the other side tear duct sort of in here somewhere Right, so iris and pupil, so same sort of thing again. So we go a bracket sort of here, and then a bracket here somewhere. Make it just a curved line, because you can't see the full circle. And then pupil in the middle. Trying to get them the same size. Roughly. Right. Not bad. Right. So then his eyelid line curves up and then goes down like so and he's got a little bit of a another skin sort of line coming out here like on this side like joins his nose or something comes down this way just thicken up this eyelid line a little bit And then again, we can have some little eyelashes just down here, like some dots and dashes, just to show some small eyelashes coming across the bottom of his eye as well. And then bottom eyelid, sort of lines, wrinkles, sort of bags under his eyes and stuff. And then the eyebrow frowning again, so frown line sort of here. And then we just bring this across. Down the back, back up. Angle here and back down. So his eyes basically very thin squinting sort of serious looking eyes okay so the nose right so we'll come down from his sort of eyebrow line sort of here and we just have a line coming down sort of for the bridge of his nose there sometimes one side is all you need really you don't really have to draw both sides We'll go down just below this and add a line, curved line for a nostril here and a curved line for a nostril here. Right, so you can already sort of make out the nose. And then we'll add sort of shadow in this because it's a dark sort of hole. Now on this side. And then you just sort of build up the skin around the nose then, right? So he's got like these sorts of lines coming together down here towards the skin on the bottom of his nose and then his nostrils flare out sort of around here and they're quite they're quite wide Like so, and, you know, little touches of shadows and stuff underneath the nose. Maybe like some lines just for like the bridge of his nose here. Little lines like that. And like sometimes with a nose, less is more. You know, you don't really have to draw much more than that. Maybe like just some. Little things on the tip of his nose. And that's about it, really. Okay. 
Right, so his mouth, just coming across here, center line for where his lips meet, curves up, down, up, and then down again. Quite bumpy. So the main thing is in the middle, you want it to like have this V sort of shape there. And then his bottom lip, just comes across like so. So, and his top lip, you don't really see much because he's got a beard, right? So you've just got this middle V sort of section there. But then the rest is kind of like his beard. So, and his chin will be like a hairy sort of line down here somewhere. So, eyebrows to say where his nose is, is about the same as nose to where his chin is. Like say if he didn't have a beard, because the, the beard hair adds on a bit of length, right? So like here to here roughly is the same as here to like his chin. And then you just go down a little bit more. Okay, so roughly speaking, this and this are the same. And then nose to bottom lip is about the same as bottom lip to where his chin would be if he didn't have a beard, right? Because the beard gives it more length. So then basically you just do this hairy sort of line for his chin. It starts to come out and around like that. And we're going to go up for his jaw. And his jaw kind of is kind of in line with his mouth, okay? But it's like a hairy sort of sketchy line anyway, right? Kind of up to there. Right, and then you change direction, you go up the side of his face. Right. So and then here we have his sideburns and his ears, right? So it's like he's got this jaw that kind of sticks out, right? So we've got sideburns that curve in this way. And start to go up for his hairline. But we'll finish his beard inside because this looks all weird here because it doesn't have his beard drawn in. So starting at his nose, right? We go down. We got some beard hair coming down in the middle. Comes down his face. And then it comes across his top lip as well. So all this beard hair here. Down beside the corner of his mouth. Right, and then it kind of curves up around here and joins his bottom lip. So it's got that classic sort of beard thing going on. Okay, and then we got the beard hair that goes up the side of his face as well. You know, you can have textures on this if you want. Just to make it look a little bit hairier. Right. So then we'll keep going. So his ears stick out from the sideburn sort of area here, right? So ear comes out. He's quite he does have quite big ears, right? And the pointy on top comes down. They stick out, his earlobes are huge, so it like sticks out this way. Bigger than you think, right? And it just sticks out like so. And then lines on the inside. So the easiest way I always say is this sort of letter J kind of thing. And then you 
can make it more complicated or less complicated. It's kind of up to you. Starting with that and then more lines as we go. Okay, so then his hairline coming up the side of his head, right? So you just go up this way. And he has like some fringe that sticks over his head here, so you can't really see it all. So we kind of just stop here and say like the forehead is usually the same size as the nose, right? So the length of his nose here, if you use that distance, you'll find the top of his forehead. And this, you just add some hairline then coming around and then we'll just add some like fringe sort of sticking out right so you got some like let's say just some like hair spikes kind of sticking out here and then some larger ones so come like down here and you can do as much of this as you want now it doesn't have to be Exactly like mine, and then you just texture on these, right? And then maybe like another one just in behind here, All right? And then so his temples coming around the side of his head here, right? So we've got just some delicate lines just at the side. Kind of to show his forehead. Maybe some lines just coming across his forehead that way. Not much though. Okay, right, and then his hair coming up the back of his head, coming up from his sideburn here, right? Same on this side, sort of third thing. And it's kind of shaved on the sides, right? So it's kind of like just this. And then it gets longer, there's like a part in his hair here. And then it gets longer going this way. So it starts to get a bit smoother here. And just sort of bumpier. textures all and then back to the sort of shaved section down here right so that's pretty much his face right I think it looks like him a bit it's not too bad So, neck, right? So we'll go down from here, from his jaw, roughly. Right, so neck, coming down here, neck. Coming down there, neck muscle, neck muscle, Adam's apple. So we're going for Argentinian jersey. So we'll go, you could do any jersey you wanted, of course. So we just curve it around. And about here we meet the blue, a blue stripe, right? Same on this side. Just comes around from the back of his neck. Down to a blue stripe and then the inside line of that. Comes down to a V here. And then back up. Okay. And then shoulders, right? So shoulders, head width, right? The width of his face roughly will bring you out to a male's shoulder. So roughly kind of there, right? So we'll go out to there. All right, so roughly speaking, just to there. And you do the same thing on the other side. Right, so you're going roughly out to there. 
down that way. I'm going to put in um, those Argentinian stars just at the top of the crest. We'll go here. So just like a star. Think Patrick Star from SpongeBob. Like arms and then legs. Two of them. They can be, they don't have to be perfect stars, you know, because they're on fabric, they're on a jersey. So then um, there's like a top shoulder line for the for the jersey. Just kind of goes down here. Like an armpit line there. Same on this side. Right, and then another blue line coming down between the stars and another one just say here and then here as well and then there's some black lines on top of his shoulder sort of adidas style you know uh, black stripes that go down the sleeve similar over here uh, does that need one more line maybe it does just sort of here does that look like it was a bit too thick or thin should I say right and then if you want thicken up your edge lines Basically, you're adding different line weights. It just makes a, a an image more interesting when some, especially in line art, if the some lines are thicker than others, you know, especially where objects overlap, like his chin overlaps his his neck, and like you know, his hair overlaps his forehead, etc. But I think I'll leave it there. Let's start draw Lionel Messi. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. Come on, Argentina. See you in the next one. Bye.